Obesity is a common disease in the modern world. Obesity and overweight are determined by calculating the body mass index or BMI defined as the weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters square. Overweight is defined as a BMI of 25 to 29.9 kg per meter square and obesity as a BMI of more than 30 kg per meter square. Severe obesity is defined as a BMI more than 40 kg per meter square or more than 35 kg per meter square in the presence of other diseases like diabetes mellitus. But it is important to remember that this categorization does not tell the whole story. The amount of fat deposition and where it is deposited in the body is very important in assessing obesity and the risks associated with it. Those who have fat deposition in the abdomen, that is around the waist, have higher risk of developing metabolic disease and increased risk of complications associated with obesity than people who have fat deposited around the hips and buttocks or over the legs. The most important follow-up is the increased risk of death in obese adults. Obesity is associated with a striking reduction in life expectancy for both men and women. Smoking compounds this risk. Coexisting diabetes, heart disease, hypertension and abnormal cholesterol profile also worsen this risk. Being overweight but not yet obese also appears to be associated with increased mortality in some studies. Obese individuals have a high risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus. In fact, more than 80% of cases of type 2 diabetes mellitus can be attributed to obesity or overweight. This creates an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. Obesity can cause sleep apnea which results in oxygen deprivation during sleep and can again lead to some complications like high blood pressure, pulmonary hypertension or high blood pressure in the vessels connecting heart and the lungs, increased risk for cardiovascular disease, poor quality of sleep and daytime tiredness and sleepiness. Most individuals with obesity have inadequate lung function, manifest as reduced lung compliance, altered lung volumes and reduced respiratory time. Obese individuals are also at increased risk of asthma. They stand a higher risk of developing complications from influenza infection. Obese individuals generally stand a higher risk of developing infections. Hence, it is important to prevent and tackle obesity. The keystones of treatment of obesity are dietary regulation and exercise in that order of importance. Medications and surgery are also treatment options in some select cases. We take a pledge, we'll treat you well.